Okay folks, so welcome back to the Wooden Tool Man's channel. So I've been playing around a little more with my uh, with the wooden pulleys that I showed uh, making in an earlier video. And uh, I've got a, a quite simple little gearbox geared up here that I'm amazed how well it's working. Um, so if you haven't seen my other videos, just look at them and there's a video showing how to make some simple pulleys. And you know, I had this in mind, so you're going to need to spend a little bit of money on this, but the, the cost was very, very low considering, you know, when I went to buy the belts, I was looking at uh, the price of, of gearboxes, and a, a, a 50 to 1 gearbox was real close to $200. Well, this thing here, I've got literally maybe $22 or something like that into it, and I've got something that, you know, I'm amazed how, how much power this thing has got. You know, I'm really bearing down on that. Well, I can't even stop it. Uh, and this is just a one-third third horsepower furnace blower motor is all it is. And I've got, if you can't really see it here, I guess I could turn it sideways, is there's actually another little pulley here. So this is what I would eventually come off. There'd be another belt on this that would come off and go to something. But this is just a simple prototype that I literally chucked this together in about an hour. When I get back from getting my supplies, I picked up a new sheet of MDF, which I needed for to make some molding, and I picked up a few of these belts, which actually cost me five dollars each. So it was very, uh, you know, there, it was very, uh, very cheap to make. And uh, so all I did was make a simple wooden pulley. You know, it's, they're just running on on bolts, is what they're running on. But they're running on the very smooth part of the bolt. So what I did was is to drill these out, I sprayed them with WD-40, you know, the inside of the the MDF so it wouldn't take any more, you know, I couldn't get it to, to, uh, to soak it in anymore. And then I just put this together so it's literally just running on a few bolts and, uh, and I'm literally amazed. You know, this thing is transferring the power very good from this one-third horsepower. And it's been running now for close to an hour, so, you know, that's what I said in my earlier videos when I first started playing with this thing. Um, I'm just going to make something, just going to let it run and see how it works. And, you know, the, the bolts are staying cool, so nothing's heating up. I can touch my hand on these bolts and they're not heating up. You know, everything's running nice and smooth. Now, when I did make this, I didn't get my holes quite perfectly straight through the wood. They were actually a little bit crooked. I was in a hurry. I just, you know, drilled the hole really quick and I had them a little bit crooked. So when I was, when I got them done, like this one runs really true. Well, these ones are all a little bit jittery, so there is a little shake in these, but it's not bad enough that I would be concerned about it. So, you can see here that I'm going from, so from the motor, which is 1725, I'm going from 1725, I'm going to cut that by, you know, this is a 3-inch pulley going to about a 13-inch pulley, so it's somewhere 3 point something, I'm going to cut that first one. And then it's got another stage here that runs from another little pulley that's hooked to this one up to this big one, which is going to cut it by 2.8. And then I'm going to cut it again by 2.8. And you can see that this one's spinning. It's spinning about, I think, somewhere it's pretty close to 60 RPMs. I don't have a way to measure it, but I can just tell by, you know, I'm counting and it's about one a second there. Somewhere's pretty close. And then if I was to come off of this again, with another pulley, which is on that inside one, if I was to come off of that and went with a little bigger pulley, then this pulley would actually spin a little bit slower. Now I'm aiming for about, you know, somewhere is about, I think about 30 RPMs uh, on my last pulley, because if any of you guys have seen my, my other video showing the pocket hole machine and wanting to make something that was gonna, going to, to uh, instead of having to push on the foot pedal, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a cool machine itself. Uh, a foot operated pocket hole machine but what I'm going to do is hopefully have it so that I can have one more pulley in this sequence that would you know have a, a similar to a train would have you know a, a bar like this hooked to it and then you know as every revolution this would act like a pusher so that would push and drill the pocket hole then it would draw back and reset itself then it would push and drill the pocket hole and reset itself and the other thing too is is if you've seen my other videos, you know, I'm going to try to use the same method. If you keep watching, I'm going to try to use the same method to make another one of the, uh, to make a version of my power feeder that I made for my router. 
I'm pretty sure that I can gear this up that this would just be a fence and you know we have a little set of wheels coming out down here that would actually pull the material through um, a router which would make it a lot safer. I've got a half a finger here I just about cut off there one time is the reason why I invented that and I don't mind sharing it with you guys too because I know how dangerous the router can actually be so I'm going to let this thing run for a while longer you know and see how well it wears uh, you know I'll know within you know if it runs for a couple without wearing out then I know I'm okay because most of the time you know a person's running the routers just for a few minutes at a time or you know I'll just have to wait and see but my thinking is it's going to take a long long time I wouldn't want to have to wait around by uh, you know running a, running this MDF on a smooth smooth shaft I'm thinking it would take a ridiculous amount of time for it to wear out if it ever would it might and if it does wear out the next one I build I'm actually going to build a little set of adjusters into this that you know I can as, the, as it wears out a little bit I can just adjust the adjust this out to keep the belt snug enough that that the belts won't slip so hopefully you're enjoying my videos hopefully you enjoyed this one and keep tuning in and you'll see more videos just like this so thanks for watching